Go. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? While you are here, you might as well stop and subscribe to be a part of the Sugar Cube family. Sugar Cubes are what I call my subscribers and I am blessed with the sweetest subscribers ever. Speaking of subscribers, if you are a new or an old one, welcome back. And I love to welcome all of my deaf and non-verbal viewers. What's up guys? I literally just came home from work and that's why the face is not as fresh as it could be. But this has literally been on for like over 8 hours. I re-moisturized my lips plus a different lip color on to match the background. And I really wanted to get into this collective haul because I have had these products for a little around a month now. And I haven't used them because I wanted to show you guys the products and have it like be a genuine unboxing. I'm not going to lie though. I use like maybe three or four products but I will definitely let you guys know which products uh, I use. So as of right now like this video don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into this collective haul okay the very first thing i'm going to dive into is my ulta haul i was watching symphony soto's i think it was her dewy or glowy summer makeup look and i pretty much got a good amount of products that she used so the first thing i got was this Ulta Beauty Highlighting Drops. This is in the color Divine. It is a very pretty true gold type of highlighting drops. I also did get the Makeup Revolution Luminous Gold Highlighting Drops, which looks like this. She definitely did use these two in her video. She also used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And this is in the color 212 Coco. She used this to cream bronze. And actually it's a beautiful color to cream bronze. I genuinely do like this foundation. I have not tried this shade. But we'll get into that later in the video. I also did get a Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. Setting sprays, lashes, and angled brushes are one of the things that I keep multiples of. Because you could just never have too many. In conjunction to that, I also got an Ulta Beauty brand uh, automatic lip liner. This is in the color Spice. It's just a very pretty everyday uh, type of lip liner. I also did pick up their brow pencil. Now, I did use this. I did use this once. And if you guys are frequent here on my channel, or if you just don't know, I prefer to use brow pomades when I fill in my brows. I do like a little bit of a bold brows. Be cut bold brow bold brow because I my brow hairs are kind of sparse and I have a, a problem with pencils showing up greasy on my skin they'll fill in the area but after like maybe 15 minutes they'll show up greasy on my skin because I am an oily girl so I did pick up the ultra slim excuse me uh, brow pencil in dark brown and I actually really like it it's a dry enough formula that it will actually adhere to my skin and I really like it. It's an ashy brown color, which I like. I do not like my brows warm at all. I hate warm brows on myself. I like them a little dark and cool, if you cannot tell. Um, in conjunction to that, I did pick up this shiny sheer lip gloss, also by Ulta Beauty. And it's in the peach color. If you guys need to know anything about me, I am a fan of navy and peach. And even more a fan if they are paired together. I did receive a free lipstick. This is from L'Oreal. It is their Balmain um, collaboration. And I have it in the color Urban Safari. It's a very, very pretty nude. It comes like in a green. This, I'm not trying to be funny. This reminds me of like grandma lipstick. Only because when I was little, I used to play in my grandma's lipstick that she used for blush. My grandma used her lipstick for blush. Lipstick, like she put it on her lips and her cheeks like that. It just reminds me of the tube. Now, it's a very pretty, extremely nude color, but it's heavily, heavily, heavily fragranced. Like, even, it's, it's, it's a nice scent. Um, if you're not a fan of heavy fragrances, however, in your cosmetics, you will not like this. And the very last two things that I got were the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Lash Primer. I did use that today on my natural lashes 
And I also got the... Oh, did I put it up? I think I put it up. Like I got the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Voluminous Carbon Black. I should have gotten a regular one. I feel like the Carbon Black dries out a little bit quicker. But this is the GOAT mascara for drugstore if anyone knows a really good cruelty free uh alternative to that please let me know because that mascara has literally been in my makeup uh regimen for since i started really honestly wearing makeup okay the next company which i hauled some items from were suva beauty now suva beauty is one of those companies that i've been watching <laughs> for a very very long time a lot of my kawaii girls um uh even cosplayers use a lot of the Suva Beauty products and they had a really good sale um, during the 4th of July so I picked up a few of their hydro liners. Now these eyeliners are not gel liners. A lot of people get them and they're like what is this? It is in fact a cake liner. They are water activated so you spray a little water, get the product going and then it acts as a liquid liner but once it sets, it sets. I did use the white one here in this Instagram picture and if you guys know I am very comfortable with gel liner so I'm going to have to get my liquid liner game up to par when using this. The white eyeliner I used in that picture is called Space Panda and it's literally a white eyeliner. I was so excited to get this because I just feel like some some looks that I do I feel could really use an extra pop especially like when you like do like the little line in the crease everyone's been doing. I love it. I really want a white eyeliner for that. This next one is called Acid Trip. It is a obnoxious neon UV orange. Okay, this is UV. All right, I got Scrunchy. I did try Scrunchy, which is also UV, and it's a very obnoxious bright pink shade. It's uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I used it to make some dots underneath my eye yesterday, actually for work. I did get Aztec. Now, as you can see, Aztec. It's showing up on camera a little bit more on uh, indigo, but it is definitely a deep purple uh, eyeliner. Now, out of all the eyeliners, I would say I was most disappointed with this only because on the website, it looks a little bit more blue. This is a straight up purple eyeliner. I like it. I don't mind it. I'm going to use it. But like I said, you guys know I'm a fan of navy and I was low-key hoping for a navy eyeliner. Um, this is Fanny Pack. She is also UV and she is a obnoxious green color. Very excited to use that. Oh my god, this one. This one's called Dance Party and do you see this yellow? Like where, where am I going with this color? Like I do not care. I'm going to go somewhere with this yellow eyeliner. You, you better believe it. This is also a UV eyeliner. And then the last one is Blue Steel. I forgot to mention all the previous eyeliners I showed you are matte. Blue Steel is um, a chrome and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm very excited to play in that. That was so the beauty. Then I did a very small haul from iKate House. I love iKate House. iKate House is actually one of the first makeup companies in conjunction with BH Cosmetics in which I ever purchased makeup from. So I did pick up these two lash glues. Now this is the KISS brand, okay? These two lash glues in clear and black in conjunction with um, Danessa Myrick's uh, Elevation Lashes Lash Glue in Black are the only lash glues I use on myself and my clients, okay? I do not use hair glue. I do not use Duo. Duo I does not work for me personally and those are the only glues that I use and I absolutely love them so I had to reopen them because I got so many lashes um I also did pick up this duo brush it is a foundation brush and a concealer brush it was really really it was really cheap I think it was like maybe two dollars but it's really cute and I've been into duo brushes lately because you know if a brush is a duo that's one less brush to wash <laughs> um i did pick up two Kara palettes the first one is just called the eyeshadow 2 palette now before i show you guys this palette there was a morphe palette um which car beauty palettes are pretty much dupes for a lot of morphe palettes um that I think it was called i forgot what the morphe palette was called but it was a really bright one and i know it got discontinued and i was really upset because i'm like hey i got some money now like where, where, where you at so this one is gorgeous do you see the colors like i cannot wait 
to tap into this yellow I know yellow eyeshadow has been trending all summer okay we still have one more month left of summer okay so don't be like oh summer's over I know there's back to school stuff in the stores but they really had them out since um July and the last palette I'm so excited I am so excited for it because it is called smoky blue and just like its title it is a beautiful you do you see the do you see this freaking color do you see this color do you oh this whole palette is blue I'm looking in a viewfinder to make sure it's in focus but it's blue and I cannot wait to do a look with this like I've been itching to do a smoky eye look on my channel for quite some time now um but I feel like black smoky eyes are appropriate for any occasion um not me, let me not say that appropriate for most uh, evening and like night out occasions but I like colorful smoky eyes so we're definitely going to dabble in a blue one um the next two big bags are from shop miss a I did do an initial shop miss a haul I'll put I'll link it in the um description bar down below make sure you check it out now straight off the bat I got a lot of lashes I needed lashes for myself I needed lashes for my clients some of my clients were requesting certain lashes because they saw it on me so I'm probably not in general I'm probably not going to buy any more makeup this year because I did I did buy quite a lot <laughs> so let's get into these things first um, I have one of their AOA Studio Sugar Scrub and this is an apple. AOA is Shop Miss A's own makeup brand and I like apples. I absolutely love apples. I did pick up three of their lip oils. I, I got the apple one, the strawberry, and the peach. I have worn the apple and the peach and they're very comfortable. They're not sticky. Um, they're not heavy they do a great job of what they are they are lip oils they keep your lips moisturized but not sticky and it's not like overly heavy when it feels like you have like a whole bunch of castor oil on your lips for lack of better terminology and to create a scenario i really like these i didn't pick up the fourth one because a lot of people were saying the fourth one either had a weird scent or a weird taste so in the first shop miss a or i did pick up a fan because my fans you can never have too many fans, okay? I'm, I'm, I, I need to return the ones to church. Um, I do have quite the bit of Amelia lashes. Now, Amelia, all right, I did wear, I did wear them, okay? These are the ones that I wore, and these are Amelia, okay? And as you can see from the side, it's not just one, like, layer of lash. They're kind of blurry. And the reason I like these because besides the fact that the price point, if you did not know, everything on Shop Miss A is one dollar. Okay, um, they are very good dupe for mink inspired lashes. They're very full. These are a dramatic lash. I didn't actually know that lash was going to be so dramatic. It took my look from here to here real quick. Um, but I like them. They weren't heavy, and I really do like Shop Miss A's uh, lashes. That was AOA Studio lashes in the style Amelia. I picked. Uh, I picked up L, which looks like this. She really cute, or whatever. But I didn't, I didn't have a chance to wear her. And I picked up Stella. Stella, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Stella, Stella scares me. Okay, I, 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 you know, it's good to have a a very dramatic lash on hand just in case anyone wants it. Do I see myself wearing Ella? Probably. I mean, Stella. My bad. Um, she kind of scary. Like, <laughs> um. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little intimidated by her. <laughs> I did pick up another Paw Paw Charity Wonder Blender. This is the um, Beauty Blender shaped one. I really, if you don't get anything else from Shop Miss A's website, make sure to get the uh, Paw Paw Charity Blender sponges. The Paw Paw Charity ones, okay, the pink ones. I picked up a pencil brush, a flat uh, brush I'm probably going to use to clean up my eyebrows. Another highlighting brush because I love my highlighting brush. I picked up two angle brushes, like I said earlier, angle brushes, you can never have too many. I plan to use one for eyeliner and one for eyebrows and a packing type of brush. I got more lashes, guys. Um, I got Kara in 110, which looks like this. I got a couple of the small sevens. Uh, personally, my favorite type of lash that I like to wear for myself flares a little bit on the end and a lot of my lash styles reflect my preference and believe it or not my clients really like them too 
Uh, that was $5.23. This one is $5.05. She's a little bit more of a, um, a thinner lash. And then I have $5.03. Okay. Sometimes, like today, I couldn't put on my mascara for the life of me, probably because I was rushing and I needed my primer to dry. I picked up two mascara guards and the reason I really really am excited about this is because like I said sometimes you know you have those days when you really just can't do your makeup the way you want to and if sometimes they come out a hot mess sometimes you get a little smudge you know sometimes you didn't wait for it to dry to get the q-tip to get it off so you know I don't mind this and I, I'm going to use this on my clients because a lot of my clients have like sensitive lash lines and when I'm applying mascara they're always blinking like blinking I did pick up a Wonder Baked Eyeshadow and this is in the color Push Pop. It's like a nice gold creamsicle type of color. They do have one called Creamsicle if I'm not mistaken but Push Pop is cute to me. I did pick up some of their Lumi blushes and their Halo highlighters. Now I didn't get all of their Halo highlighters because I feel like I would not use them honestly. Um, when buying anything, you know, you have to be careful just because you can or you have access to everything, you have to be careful but you don't really need it. You know what I mean? Ah, like this one is a halo highlighter in the color Sunstone and she is gold um, and she's cute. I like her. I actually really do like her. The halo highlighters aren't just one color, they're like a marble effect. It kind of reminds me, reminds me, reminds me of the Artisan um, baked bronzers that Black Radiance has. These are a dollar, so I don't mind, you know, like I said, spending, but in honesty, like, if you were to go into your collection right now, how many gold highlighters do you have that look the same from different companies? How many red lipsticks do you have that look the same from different companies? I can afford this as a dollar, but like I said, I didn't feel like I needed to buy the whole collection. This is Desire. Desire literally gives me cotton candy vibes because it's pink, but it has like little swirls of like a violet and blue. I also did get Love Lust. Love Lust looks like it's more gold with pink swirls in it. These are Lumi. These are not matte. Okay. And then I picked up a good amount of their Lumi blushes. Now, this one is called Rose Dawn. I would say it's mixed with uh, pink and gold. I am a yellow girl, so gold looks very nice on me. And most of my clients, uh, gold looks... A Gold looks good on pretty much all my clients from the deepest of deep to the lightest of light and I've done people in all color spectrum like literally across the whole color spectrum and gold is something that complements everybody I find. This one's called Golden Apricot. Now this one reminds me of like a toasted type of almond one. It's like a nice russet color with like swirls of purple. I low key thought this one was going to be my favorite but my favorite actually ended up being Ravish. Ravish is gorgeous. I had to swatch this one. She is literally like a beautiful peach color. I absolutely am in love with that. Um, I have Wine. Wine is an appropriate name for it. Definitely an appropriate name for that blush. I also have So Close. So Close is cute. So Close is cute. This looks like a very nice everyday type of mauve blush. And then lastly, I have Sin. I don't know why it couldn't be called Blessing, but whatever. Uh, this is this also reminds me of like a, a toasted almond type of color. It's more on the new type of brown um, spectrum of things. But it's pretty nonetheless, and I'm very happy with pretty much everything I bought like I said the only thing I was kind of disappointed with so far is that that eyeliner was a, just a true purple because I thought it would be navy I was very I was so looking forward to a navy eyeliner and it's funny uh, I did that purchase back um, for their 4th of July sale and then they released uh, the block party um, collection which has a matte straight up matte perfect like blue just imagine the color the crayon color blue that's what that eyeliner looks like and they have an eyeliner there and I'm just like oh that's so funny I already placed my order I already have my order and now you make a blue line layer you know what I mean but it's all good so I'm just trying to clean up as I go because 
I'm running out of room, so I can't buy no more makeup guys. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't. The last shop miss a bag. I pretty much purchased all of the AOA Perfect Studio powders except the translucent. I watched that so yin and she said that she pretty much likes all their powders except the translucent one. I do agree that sometimes when even when I use my AOA Perfect loose setting powder and translucent I have to mix it. It's it gets funky on me. So I got all the colors. I'll run through the colors real quick. I know this video is gonna be longer than what I expected. I'm probably gonna have to actually pause my camera, pick up. So let me pause my camera now. Okay, let her cool down and I'll come right back and show you what's in this shop Miss A bag. Okay, she's chill. Uh, I have Chestnut, which is an appropriate name. Now there's a powder in here that is very, very deep and I am in love with how deep it is. They're very, very creamy also. I swatched uh, two or three that might have been my shade, but I don't have my perfect shade in any of these powders. I'm going to have to mix. I have Nude just an appropriate name for that I thought I would be sand but I'm a little bit tan believe it or not I didn't realize it until uh, you know I saw I had former tan <laughs> from my short sleeve shirts uh, this one is sand it's a beautiful yellow color which is what I look for in pressed powders if this was a little bit deeper just a tiny bit deeper it would be my summer shade but I'm not complaining I can't get enough the yellow powders this one is called Ivory. She's super light. I have Banana. The Press Powder Banana. I also do own the Loose Banana Powder. I have Cafe. I love how deep this powder is. And it just shows you, okay? Shot Miss A is a website. It's not new new, but it's not old. This one's in the color Porcelain, by the way and yes their makeup is a dollar but it's amazing quality and look at their shade range for their powders this is a company that sells one dollar makeup and you have multi-million dollar makeup enterprises who come out with 35 shades of beige and like four deep complexion colors and the complex the four deep complexion colors don't even fit women or people of color i'm i'm just saying this one's called toffee this one this one is very it's very rich it, remi it like it reminds me of a powder that could be called earth it's just it's not orange but it's just a very rich color this one is called beige okay appropriate name this one is called almond i thought i would be almond but almond is a little bit too uh red for me i am a yellow girl even in the summer i can get away mixing a little bit you know deeper foundation i could work out on tones but that powder is just too red for me and lastly i have honey honey might be my shade it's a little bit honey might be my shade i'm gonna have to play around with them okay i did also pick up some individual lashes i want to get into them i want to practice on myself people are asking me for them i can do them on other people but i don't have the patience for them <laughs> for myself honestly so i got them in short I got them in medium and I got them in long. I did tell you guys and warn you guys that I picked up a lot of lashes so be prepared to see a lot of lashes from now on. I have the Cara Beauty Small 3s. These are very, very, very natural. I actually picked these up for a client because the client requested a super natural lash. I have a couple of Demi Wispies. This looks like a lot of the other styles. Okay, how many red lipsticks do you own that's pretty much the same color from other companies? I have Wispy. Wispy is awesome. I actually had a couple of Wispies, but my client used them. So I bought myself some Wispies to re-up. Natalia has to be my favorite lash, okay, not because it's almost close to my name, but because it's super comfortable. It is the perfect level of, it's the perfect balance of dramatic and a natural lash. They're very light. You cannot tell you are wearing them at all. I absolutely love them and I got a good amount of Natalia. I also did get Mila. 
Mila is cute. She's also kind of a natural lash. Okay. In this packaging, they are the AOA Studio. In the white packaging, they are from Cara. I did get Rose. I also did have Rose previously, and my client used them, and they fell in love. So I picked up one for myself and one for my client. I have Luya. Now, on the site, Luya is um, available in a multi-pack of six, along with two other styles. Now, initially, I was like, why can't they have a six-pack of Natalia? But looking at Luya, I totally understand why it's popular. Just how the Amelia lashes that I showed you from um, Shot Miss A, uh, the AOA Studio line are how they like multi-dimensional flare, but they're dramatic. That's exactly how Luya is. Only thing, she's very much more wearable. Looking back in retrospect, I probably would have ordered more Luya than I did Amelia. But like I said, I do not regret anything that I purchased. So I picked up a couple of Luyas. And I think the rest of these in here are all Natalia's, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, wait. I picked up an Audrey. Okay. Everyone say hi to Audrey. I picked up an Audrey so she doesn't feel left out because she has a lot of siblings named Natalia. Um, I also did pick up a black Afro pick because I lost my blue one. And when I do my wash and goes, and even when I do my twist outs, I sometimes pick out my hair. I did pick up one of their plastic pouches, it's like their makeup bags, and it has donuts on it. Any of my close friends will understand why this is an inside joke and why it's funny. That was it for the second shop, Miss A goodie bag. I did pick up a couple of foundations. Right now, if anyone is curious, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation on the Caramel. This is my perfect summer shade and for this foundation to be like six dollars this is not a recent purchase i just want to put this out there it's an excellent foundation for the summer like i said i worked um what time did i leave my house i left my house i put this on rather i'll do it like that time of application was around 8 a.m and it is now currently 606 and it's it's still looking really good i really like this foundation so I wanted to try and explore some other foundations because I feel like I use the same ones. I did pick up the L'Oreal Paris, uh, the Pro Glow, but I picked it up in my shade. It's 209. Now, anything Pro Glow, I'm actually a little bit low-key scared of because I'm an oily girl and I think of glow, I think of oil. You know, any foundation eventually looks glowy on me because my oil seep through. But this is a beautiful, beautiful long wearing foundation. I did use this once. I actually used this on my first day um, at the new job and it wore beautifully. It wore beautifully. I did also pick up the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation and Honey Beige but this is too light. She too light and she too beige. Like she is pink. She looks like oh, okay she's golden. She looks really orange in a pan but like okay I could work with it. She's golden no she is beige and she is light okay she's light as in not too light for me in general but light as in she is my winter shade um and she's too beige now i have a home girl who is a manager at elf and she hooked your girl up with some goodies okay she got me the Alyssa ashley lip gloss which i absolutely love i had that on earlier it's in my bag. I didn't feel like going into the other room to get it, so I just popped on a liquid lipstick from Hot Makeup. Uh, this is the Alyssa Ashley collab with e.l.f. lip gloss, and it's in the color Nude Rose. It smells like cookie dough. It tastes like cookies. I absolutely love this lip gloss. It's a beautiful mauve every day. Uh, also, I was not aware until recently that e.l.f. has a big version of their Mist and Sets. This is the big version of the Mist and Set, right? This is the, or, wait, where is it? This is the original size of the Mist and Set. The Mist and Set is a staple in my kit and in my everyday makeup routine because I absolutely love it. I feel like that and my Urban Decay All Nighter, the bottle is very dirty. I absolutely love, especially in the summer, like my face has been lasting. There's no way my face, granted I could blot a little bit right now and I do have a little bit of smile lines, but I have to smile at work all day, so I don't mind the smile lines, and I do tend to crease underneath my eyes. But, I mean, 
in, in conjunction with a long wearing foundation setting sprays work amazing and then the, lastly i have two foundation adjusters one in golden to make foundations a little bit more yellow and one in bronze just in case they're a little bit too neutral um this is amazing so what i'm probably going to do is probably mix all three of these and see how that goes i'll probably record myself doing so um that was it as far as the makeup i do have one i guess you could say skincare item if you guys haven't seen my skincare routine i'll link it down below this video is so long i'm sorry i just wanted to get all this out so i could show you guys you guys see it and i can start using it now <laughs> i did pick up the olay daily facials four in one water activated cloths okay now these aren't your traditional makeup wipes these are dry okay they're dry there's no makeup remover juice nothing they're dry you spray water you run it underneath for faucet or whatever they're really good for traveling but i really like them to take my makeup off before i go in the shower so i'll do so after i start um stop filming this video you lather it up you put the water on it right you spray it you mix it like how can i say you lather it yeah you lather it and the product comes out now it says it's like a toner cleanser um what does it say it's a scrub toner mask and cleanser all in one i like olay i am a fan of olay olay has never sponsored me but i have been using their products probably since i started my quote unquote skincare journey which is as long as i can remember my mom always used olay so i use olay and my skin likes it every time from that um every now and again from time to time i'm trying to say i may like try a new product and it can break my skin out or my skin will feel something's wrong with it and i go back to olay and it's amazing they're not sponsored okay I just genuinely like their products and I absolutely really like these wipes. I first saw them featured on Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina's channel. But that is it for my collective haul. As far as makeup and skincare, I do have a haul planned for the main choice. I am still a main ambassador, even though my hair is in the blunt. It's just easy because it's hot and it's humid. But I have to show you all my goodies from the main choice. The last, um, the last collection I received from them was the Pink Lemonade and they did send me over two collections. Two two collections at one time, okay? Two for one collections at one time. And I have to show you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, comment down below. Yes, girl. Just just so we know, okay? Just so I know you made it this far in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to be a part of the Show You Cute family. Comment down below if you have any products you want to see me do a tutorial first or if you want to see any swatches of anything. And I'll catch you in my next video. Everybody, stay blessed. Love God, love people. <laughs>